some of the, the tools and weapons that inmates have created while they've been in the jail. Most of these come from the old jail, not not this facility right here. They're very creative. They they try to you know use whatever they can to create you know some kind of a, a weapon. Are these nunchucks? Those, uh, yeah. Over the years, we've had a few escapes from, from the old facility where they used uh, sheets like this and braided them into ropes. Let's pray. Dear Father God, we do pray for the safety and the morale of the men and women working in this facility. Thank them for their service to our community and to those that are housed here. Let them leave here with a new hope for a brighter, healthier, and productive future. Anyway, welcome. Welcome to jail. I know some of you, as you walk in here, you kind of maybe start having PTSD because maybe you've been here before. Um, <laughs> but, you know, these keys, we all have them and we'll let you out anytime. So if you start panicking at all, just let us know, okay? But we do have some great facilities here. If you have to take a shower, it's right behind me. Uh, if you have to use the bathroom, it's right here. So this is what it is. This is a, a direct supervision facility that we have here. What your preconceived notion of jail might have been before you got here, we hope to kind of disrupt that a little bit. This is what it is here. This is general population. This is up to 75 inmates in this facility, and we have one correctional officer that manages 75 inmates. You know, on the street, we have a lot of different weapons and everything like that to, to gain compliance. But I tell you, our correctional officers, they have to use their minds and they use their mouths. And in the old jail, when I talk about linear, what I mean is you'd have cells and cages and bars and those big Folgers keys you see in the movies. And we'd go around every 30 minutes. But what do you think was happening the other 29 minutes we weren't standing there? The weak guy was losing his lunch. People were being assaulted. And by the time you come back around after 30 minutes, they're all sitting there playing cards, getting along. In 2014, we had an average population 348. On June 1st of 2014, our highest population was 393. I want to impress upon you how absolutely crowded that is. There is not a lot of elbow room. Okay? Our total number of bookings was over 10,000. 10,000 people booked in one year. I'm Mitch Kratz. I'm a sergeant here. I've been here 27 years, so about 10 years in the old facility and the rest over here. Um, down here, I'm going to give you a little tour of processing. This is where everyone comes in, drunk in public, to murder. You're going to come through this area. If you're here to do your four hours in the drunk tank, if you're drunk driving or whatever, you do it right there. If your medical will check them every two hours and then mental health will come down.